get by It resides between my eyes Walk through the fire Came out better on the other side See lights like a beach If you find the same And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand You are listening to Inspired Insider With your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. We're here live at the Prosper Show. I'm here with the founder of Efficient Era, Bernie. And Bernie, first thing I want to know is what Efficient Era does. Okay, great. Well, Efficient Era is a software as a service tool that helps Amazon sellers build their brand on Amazon. Okay. So I love this the sickness of that. <laughs> <laughs> so why did you start it? Well, we actually started it because we had our own private label selling business. And, um, you know, there's a lot of things on Amazon that are uh, not automatic. And you've got such high order volume that if you're going to encourage product, positive product reviews um, and treat negative product reviews as a customer service incident, incident to be able to help the customer, you need automation, uh, both to know that those things are happening uh, and then also to uh, take action on them. Yeah. So we basically created a set of tools for ourselves to you know, really help encourage positive re reviews and, and fix problems, and uh, these are those tools offered to others. Yeah. You're really solving your own pain. What were some of the pain points you were experiencing personally? Because obviously you solve that for other sellers. Yeah, you know, Amazon's this huge opportunity to uh, get rewarded for good customer service. Um, but they do have a few gaps, you know, and one of them is if a customer has a bad experience uh, and then just goes out and, and writes a negative review without contacting you, well, then you've never had a chance to help that customer. Um, and Amazon does not notify you of negative reviews, and they also don't uh, allow you to know which customer really submitted that negative review. Um, but actually, all that information is there in the Amazon data um, if you dig for it. And so our software goes in and digs and finds that stuff. And it's really all in the interest of just then contacting that customer and solving that problem. And that's what we, that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to provide better customer support and, and we developed the tools to make it happen. Yeah. So Bernie, what sticks out to you? I know you've had a lot of customer success stories. You're your own customer success story. Yeah. What's one that sticks out to you that you are especially proud of or that you've really helped someone? Well, we had a, we had a customer actually just last week who was selling cushions. You know, and it's a small, a small seller, and you know, probably a family business. And you know, they had gotten uh, some negative reviews, including you know some one-star reviews, and uh, you know, it kind of drove them nuts. I mean, they've, they're proud of this product. Um, here's yeah, some a painful thing. Yeah, and, and you know, and somebody you know said something that was negative about it, and uh, you know, there really was wasn't anything that they could do to help and actually turn it around. Uh, they had just signed up for our service, uh, and we were able to connect that up with which order it came from, and they were able to go out and help that customer and turn around that negative review. So, you know, it's kind of a perfect example of, of what we're, we're, we're trying to do. So what's the best way to turn around a negative review like that? So, I mean, one, obviously, your software, you can, at first you have to identify it before you can address it. Yep. What else should people be thinking about? Yeah, this really could be part of the Bernie's tips. Yeah, too, yeah, yeah. I mean, it is really about a positive customer service experience. Um, you know, uh, you want to close the feedback loop as quickly as possible. You want to, if somebody's having a, a good experience, you know, you want to uh, leverage that to try to get a positive review. If they're having a problem, you want to be able to help them. Um, so, you know, it, it's really all just following through on a very fast customer focused mindset, closing all the feedback loops. So talk about a milestone you're especially proud of. And uh, if you want to talk about one for Efficient Era and then one for uh, yeah. Pluggable too. Um, well, you know, a milestone we're uh, you know, proud of uh, on, with the Efficient Era business is we've you know, recently crossed 200 uh, selling companies that are using the Efficient Era tools, um, which is great for us. Uh, you know, we're helping a lot of people be more successful selling on Amazon. Um, and uh, you know we have our own private label selling business, Pluggable Technologies, um, and uh, we've been actually we started the company in 2009, and here in 2017 we now have our eighth year of consecutive growth. 
um, which is you know hard to do. I mean, sales bounce around on Amazon, and you know through kind of diversification geographically with products and with tools like this, we've actually kind of pulled off eight straight years. That's amazing. Yeah. So what else should people know about Efficient Era that we have yeah. not talked about? Well, it, you know, speaking of Pluggable, I mean, these are the tools that we created to make Pluggable successful. And Pluggable is an eight-figure Amazon selling business. Um, so these are serious tools um, that do a lot of things. Uh, and we've now decided to make these tools available to all sellers so that we can continue developing them and, and amortize the cost across not just our selling account, but many, many sellers um, and help all of those sellers. So, yeah, that's the, uh, we, and we're, we're making good progress on that. So, Bernie, where should we point people towards online to check more about Efficient Era? Yeah, just go to EfficientEra.com, um, and it's uh, we've got a 60-day free trial, and we try to put up a lot of good content to help sellers succeed. Great. So, I always like to end on a personal note, Bernie, um, a bucket list item, personally, that you have, uh, somewhere you want to go, something you want to see in your lifetime. You know, I, I just had a friend on Facebook posting all these pictures of Angkor Wat, uh, I, which I think is in Vietnam, uh, Buddhist temples. God, those are beautiful. And I, I've never actually, I've done all this business travel to Asia and never gotten to see, I love old temples. I want to go to Angkor Wat. All right. Love it. Yeah. Live from the Prosper Show, check out Efficient Era. Thanks, Bernie. Yeah. Thanks, Jeremy. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walked through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand right now. I feel like a hundred grand